Hello everyone, welcome to Kaviation Engineering. So today I'm going to teach you ADA Chapter 21, Air Conditioning System under Tone Temperature Control, Lesson Number 7, uh, Cockpit and Cabin Components, Operation and Description. So if you are new to uh, Kaviation Engineering YouTube channel, I am Keshara Vikramasinghe. Uh, today is the uh, lesson number seven uh, in air conditioning uh, system uh, under zone temperature controls, cockpit and cabin component description and operations. So uh, if you still not subscribe my channel, uh, please subscribe my channel and then you can learn more uh, about aircraft uh, A320, uh, especially the systems. All right, so let's go to the lesson. So in this lesson, you will learn about the detailed description and the operation of the cockpit and cabin components. All right. OK, so let's go to the first one is the mixture unit. All right. So uh, here is the mixture unit. You can see. Right. So this is the zone controller, primary and secondary. All right. So this is the live view. So you can see the mixture unit over there. Right. So this is the forward cargo in A320. The mixture unit uh, is uh, in the forward cargo. So the mixture unit mixes air coming from the packs and recirculated air from the cabin priority distributions to each So, So you can see the mixture unit, the air is coming from the packs and also it, air is coming from the recirculation fans. The mixture unit installed under the cabin floor, right? So the mixture unit is installed under the cabin floor uses cabin air which has entered the underfloor area and has been drawn through recirculation filters by recirculation fans so, right you can see this is the recirculation fan and the recirculation filter the air is mixed with conditioned air from the packs right so the recirculation air is coming to the mix unit and this is mixed with the conditioned air coming from the pack so the quantity of cabin air mixed with conditioned air varies from 37% to 51%. All right. Okay, now let's go to the number two mixture unit temperature sensor. Mixture unit temperature sensor. All right. So uh, you can see, uh, right? So this is the mixture unit temperature sensor here, right? You can see here, right? There are two mixture unit temperature sensors, one on either side of the mixture unit, right? So you can see this is the mixture unit, the, the uh, live view or the actual view. So you can see there are two temperature sensors uh, on one either side of the mixture unit right here are the two temperature sensors they indicate the actual temperature of the mixture unit to the zone control so they indicate the actual temperature of the mixture unit to the zone controller right so you can see the actual temperature is going to the mixture unit temperature mixture unit temperature, secondary and primary each mixture unit temperature sensor consists of two thermistors remember this each and every temperature sensor consists of two thermistors right so one connected to the primary computer and the other connected to the secondary computer right uh, yeah you can see see so the, the each each and every temperature sensor connected with uh, having sorry uh, the each and every uh, temperature sensor consists with two thermistors and each and every one one is connected to the uh, secondary computer and other one is connected to the primary computer all right okay so now let's go to the next one mixture unit flap okay mixture unit flaps here mixture unit flap here right here is the mixture unit flap see the mixture unit flap ensure sufficient supply uh, sorry, uh, the mixture unit flap ensures sufficient supply flight deck air supply of pack 1 is selected off, right? So an electrically operated mixture unit flap is installed to ensure that sufficient fresh air is delivered to the cockpit in case of pack 1 failure, okay? You can see here is the rotary actuator over there, right? This is the uh, mixture unit, right? Okay, now let's go to the trim air pressure regulating valve trim air pressure regulating well here is the trim air pressure regulating valve right so the trim air pressure regulating valve is pneumatically operated and electrically controlled by two solenoids remember uh, trim air pressure regulating valve is pneumatically operated and electrically controlled by two solenoids electrically controlled by two solenoids solenoid number one and solenoid number 
two. So one solenoid control the on-off function. So solenoid number two is control the on-off function, and the second solenoid control the safety function. Second solenoid control the safety function. All right. See, you can see the trim and pressure regulating valve. See, is the trim and pressure regulating valve. See. Uh, right the trim air pressure regulating valve regulates the pressure of the air supplied to the trim air valve for psi above the cabin pressure when any duct temperature exceed 80 celsius or 176 fahrenheit the safety function solenoid s1 is energized and reduces downstream pressure of the valve from 4 psi to 2 psi above the cabin pressure all right so it will be de-energized as soon as the temperature returns below 70 celsius or else 157 fahrenheit right so the on off function solenoid is solenoid number two de-energized when the hot air push button is set to off or when any duct temperature is above 88 celsius or 190 fahrenheit or above 80 celsius 176 fahrenheit four times during one flight leg this closes the valves right okay so now let's go to the hot air pressure switch hot air pressure switch is over there right so uh, due to malfunction of the trim air pressure regulating valve the hot air pressure switch signals over pressure to the secondary computer of the zone controller to ecam display and the centralized full display system which means cfds all right so if the pressure is in the system exceeds 6.5 psi above the cabin pressure the sound controller activates the ecam system all right so the signal stays until the pressure falls below 5 psi right so here's the false cargo this is the trim air pressure switch over there and this is the mixture unit all right okay so let's go to the trim air valves right so here is the trim air valves one two three right so you can see uh, cabin trim air valves behind the mixture so it is situated behind the mixture unit right so the trim air valves allows its sound temperature to be adjusted by modulating the hot air flow added to for the mixture unit right about the trim air valves and the, uh, the function i explained in the previous lesson so the trim air valves or trim air valves close when the trim air pressure regulating valve closes so the butterfly of the trim air valve is controlled by the stepper motor right so the butterfly of the trim air valve trim air valve butterfly is controlled by a stepper motor you can see this is the stepper motor right so the trim air valve position determination is based on the step counting principle all right okay now let's go to the duct temperature sensors so uh here here is the duct temperature sensor over there duct temperature sensor and this is duct temp duct overheat sensor uh, port cabin and this is duct overheat uh, sensor cockpit right right so each duct temperature sensor detect duct temperature for the corresponding sound temperature control indication and overheat detection to the sound controller each duct temperature sensor consists of two thermistors remember each duct temperature sensor consists of two uh, thermistors one connected to the primary computer and other to the secondary computer right so each thermistor provide control indication and overheat detection 188 celsius or 190 fahrenheit or uh, 4 into 80 celsius or 176 fahrenheit all right it means four times all right okay so now let's go to the sound temperature sensor uh sound temperature sensor over there right see these are the uh sound temperature sensor uh for the cockpit and cabin they have uh forward cabin also have one aft cabin also have one and flight deck also have one uh sound temperature sensor so each sound temperature sensor detect corresponding sound temperature for the sound temperature control and indication on ecam display so each sound temperature sensor consists of two thermistors one connected to the primary computer and the other to the secondary computer all right okay so now we'll go to the question and answer i will ask the first questions if a duct overheat is detected if a duct overheat is detected uh now uh, uh, answer number a is the mixture unit flap closes and answer number b the prv and the tavs closes and answer number c the prv and the corresponding uh, uh trim air valve closes so what should be the answer okay i will give you the uh, some time
All right. So this is the answer, answer number B, the PRV and the trimia valve closes. All right. Okay. This is the question number two. The mixture unit flap opens if number A, uh, sorry, uh, the answer number, uh, answer A, hot air push button is set to off and answer B, pack two push button is set to off and answer C, pack one push button is set to off. So what should be the answer? Okay, so this is the answer, answer number C, answer C, pack one push button is set to off. All right, so uh, that is the end of this lesson. Uh, thank you for participating in this lesson. So uh, next lesson, uh, uh, I will going to teach you about the zone and pack controller interfaces, right? Zone and pack controller interfaces. So stick with my channel and don't forget to subscribe Kaviation Engineering. And uh, I will uh, take you more lessons regarding the ATA chapters in Airbus A320, 21 and 8019 uh, aircraft. So, uh, uh, and also I want to tell if you like this video, please like. And uh, if you think these uh, lessons will important for someone, your friend or some your cousin, so please share this video in your social media like Facebook or any other any platform. Uh, okay, uh, and also uh, I want to tell uh, uh, if you think uh, if you have any questions, please uh, uh, comment below. Uh, and again, thank you for participating in this lesson, and uh, we will meet you on next lesson have a good day for all of you